Welcome, I am Amrita Mahabir and I'll be your presenter today as we examine the processes of new product development and innovation via a case study conducted at KC Confectionery in Trinidad and Tobago. Let's begin. Using the case study approach affords students the opportunity for the development of key skills such as communication, group work, problem solving, and it increases their desire to learn. Most of the context in which students understand theoretical teaching is developed in a foreign environment. And while we want to understand global trends, it's equally important to be knowledgeable of our local, economic and industrial positioning in today's market. We desire to initiate the foundation of an archive of local case studies to be used in the University of Trinidad and Tobago. Many courses in design and manufacturing engineering programs are centered on this topic, providing its relevance and usefulness to students in bridging the gap between theory and practice. It's intended to give detailed breakdown of the NPD and innovation concepts using qualitative and quantitative data in a research design that is dependent on perceptual triangulation. This table shows the three main uses of case studies and the different types. This case looks at NPD and innovation strategies at Casey, therefore it's focused on theory refinement. It's also intended as a pedagogical tool to be used as a teaching case study. Teaching case studies are reserved for teaching management concepts and are paired with a teaching note to be used as an instructor's manual. While the case study itself tells a story, the teaching note provides notions on how exactly the case should be taught. For this study, a descriptive illustration typology is utilized and it describes specific actions taken by an organization. Descriptive illustrations are built such that they don't require decision, but rather encourage students to exercise critical thinking and analysis. Is meant to expose them to companies, policies, and managerial practices. This particular case informs the reader about the NPD and innovation strategies at KC. Companies are dependent on the creation of new products to survive in the industry, stay relevant, and to grow and prosper as a firm. Innovation drives economic development through a dynamic process in which new technologies supersede the old, and it helps firms gain a competitive advantage. All organizations go through four phases in the design process. These include fuzzy front end, where they pitch ideas, design, where you validate manufacturing feasibility of the product, implementation, where you determine if the prototype meets design requirements and how the product is delivered, and fuzzy back end, which is the true commercialization phase. The CEO of KC credits the company's ongoing success to their ability to innovate, transform, develop, and customize products to suit each market. Casey's adoption of market research, technology, and innovation has led to continued business expansion. Hence, Casey is the ideal candidate for this teaching case study. Let's take a look at the research method. Firstly, we determine the significance of NPD and innovation using secondary sources to research and prepare related information, as well as develop research questions. After designing the framework, we use primary sources like interviews, facilitated observation and inspection of data files for which we establish credibility by triangulating with other sources. Primary data was validated through an employee survey and news articles. We then were able to transcribe notes, sort and classify the data, and map the major theoretical concepts to case findings to identify areas for critical discussion. After writing the teaching case and the teaching notes, we validated them with undergraduate and postgraduate students of design and manufacturing engineering programs. All around the world, NPD is met with failure rates ranging from 30 to 95%. We ask ourselves, how has KC managed to beat these odds in today's competitive market? And what differentiates them from the hundreds of other local companies that have strived to do the same and failed? The family-owned business began as a cottage industry in 1992 and through diversification, developed it into a 114,000 square foot, fully automated modern manufacturing facility and one of the largest confectioners in the Caribbean. Casey produces low-cost products, securing better returns as they operate under the economy of scale. With the fastest production rate of 30 tons of candy a day, this translates into high volumes and revenue dollars. Interestingly enough, 70% of Casey's products are exported. External distributors market and sell the products in their respective countries. Casey works closely with them to determine the product's needs and the preference in their specific region. Marketing varies by country as well as local demographics. Casey has been developing new products since its inception. They pride themselves in selling products that set them apart from other companies. A major contributing factor to the uniqueness of their products is the ability to make composite products, which none of their competitors can do. 
And since KC manufactures its entire line of products in one factory, it allows them to supply containers of mixed goods to their customers. KC also has to adapt to meet different rules and regulations for different countries. In addition to flexibility of products, the ability to adapt packaging easily has given them a competitive advantage since larger competitors are unable to do so. To ensure success in their foreign markets, each year the company launches four new products and on special occasions they may launch even more. Research and development is a semi-formal function housed within the quality control department consisting of a marketing, manufacturing and quality operations of the company. The CEO is the head of the quality control and has the final say concerning release of a new product. Creativity is universally encouraged across the company, meaning that any of their employees can make a recommendation for a new product based on their own ideas. Market surveys play an important role in the development of new products and seasonal events influence product specifications, such as the heart-shaped lollipop sold for Valentine's Day. If you look at the image, quality control leads the process. Post idea generation, the concept is developed within the quality control department and a data sheet is created enlisting the product name and what it constitutes. Logistics implements this form and passes it to the CEO who deems the product suitable for the market. At this point, plans are made to fund, produce and distribute the product. Board Director Ashmer Mohammed says that employees at every level are empowered to make their own decisions so they feel like they have a stake in the company. It helps the company identify potential managers within its own workforce as well. Employees are trained to make informed decisions as the company delivers regular formal and informal training. Outside of new product development, KC uses innovation to make sure that their products are safer and that they are environmentally consumed. Even the grease they use on the machinery can be consumed safely. Ashmore describes KC's ability to exploit a wide range of external markets as a major contributing factor to their success in new product development and innovation. Another factor is their relationship with customers and good rapport with distributors. Market surveys help KC to connect with the culture of the countries they are involved with, which helps to create products that are perfectly suited for their different tastes. Time is money. It can take up to nine months to bring a new product to the market. And the length of time to bring a product from idea to fruition is considered a constraint because it is a very costly process and adversely affects cash flow. No single machine costs less than half a million dollars, so when a new product involves new equipment, it does present temporal and financial constraints, as confectionery machines are not manufactured for stock, and the machines are made specifically for the company. KC partakes in market presentations where they have opportunities to showcase their new products. They rely on customer feedback to test the success of their product. One of the innovative shortcomings that KC experiences is the lack of direct advertisement for their products. While they do utilize billboards and engage in promotional activity, they have only recently established a presence on social media forums. All of the company's machinery is automated, so any change in product confers to a change in machinery. Few companies in Trinidad can claim an existence close to 100 years. Director Mohammed says, what you did yesterday and what you're doing today may not be successful tomorrow. You have to continue to change and innovate, striving for greater achievement if you want to progress. And as times change, your products must also adapt. Casey has made an incredible economic and social contribution to TNT. This case study explores the strategies used by the company in becoming one of the most lauded and successful companies in innovation and new product development. The case is ideally designed for undergraduate courses and explores the strategic determinants of new product development and innovation, inclusive of technology, market orientation, learning processes, cooperation and networking, financial resources, and managerial efficiency. This conversation will help students better understand exactly how multifaceted the NPD process is, as well as the key roles each contributing factor plays in the company's visible success. KC does not abide by the standard teachings for new product development and innovation. They do not have specialized departments for either one, and their methods are largely semi-formal. Relationships are an important factor throughout this case. Attention should be paid to the culture created at KC among staff and management, as well as the involvement of employees at all levels in the creative process. Discussion of the company's ability to work through networks of suppliers to improve competitiveness and innovation is useful to demonstrate business strategy and supplier alliances. Another area of pedagogical emphasis is reaction to regulation and environmentally responsible product design. 
To conclude, a teaching case study of the descriptive illustration tag was developed at Casey, comprising a length of six pages to account for the level of education of the students using it. It reveals factors that contribute to a company's success like relationships, differentiation, and flexibility. It's meant to be thought-provoking and move students away from the mentality that there's a set formula for new product development and innovation. And it allows students to recognize how multifaceted the process is and factor out characteristics of a successful business in this regard. Students will gain understanding that the NPD process will manifest differently depending on the individual company's environment. And that brings us to the end of our presentation. Thank you for your interest and attention, and do get back to me with any questions.